I have been receiving form rejection letters from grants organizations, exhibition venues, and other arts-related lotteries for at least 27 years. After I read one, I file it away and begin planning for my next opportunity. This is because when you do anything in the arts, you need rhinoceros skin and the will to protect both your species and habitat. But there is another type of form letter that annoys me, and I nicknamed it the shyster. One variety of the shyster is the customary rejection letter sent by medical insurance companies. It generally states that you have been turned down for an MRI, PET scan, or some other test of great value. Do you believe these large companies have been taken over by miserly computer programs calibrated to send out rejection letters for the diagnostic procedures our doctors prescribe for us. I am convinced that such firms send out these letters because they know a host of the recipients are not going to dispute their contents. This is because we rarely know the extension of the party we are trying to reach and don't have time to be put on hold for eternity. This endless wait is sinful because we are either writhing in pain or being threatened by symptoms of a grave disease. The other strain of the shyster is the communication you receive electronically from dysfunctional corporate health clubs. They usually answer your billing inquiries, especially those pertaining to refunds, cancellations, and ambush-like dues increases. Other popular topics include overall cleanliness and equipment maintenance concerns. I am quite certain that each of these corporations has a library of form letters managed by monkeys. This staff of chimpanzee librarians is assigned to departments including prorated billing, cancellations, refunds, housekeeping, and equipment malfunction. These primates have been trained to retrieve incoming emails from the members, randomly choose a form letter from their assigned archive, and left-click the reply command. Monkeys will often follow along with others without thinking about the consequences of their actions. But you know, as well as I do, that all of what I described here is really a case of people see, people do.